What's up everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin market update. In these videos you will learn how to use technical analysis to forecast price movements in your favorite cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and others and also see where we are looking to buy and sell these crypto assets ourselves. So let's get into it here with Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. Starting off on the weekly, you can see that the bulls are still attempting to bounce off of this light blue support zone that we talked about, uh, we started talking about back here. Um, this has been a support zone ever since we closed this second weekly candle above this key high right here back in February. So we subsequently had some price action in between the R2 pivot here and the R3 pivot. And then we broke down and now we're in that support zone currently. Now you can see the bulls are trying to buy the dip here with some longer lower wicks. Um, you can see that we also have some longer upper wicks of people selling into the rise in price. Um, kind of pricing in that this could potentially be the top of this bull run, at least in the short term. And so we are looking to see are the bulls going to show up here in the short term and subsequently get a bounce up to at least the R2 pivot. Now, the R2 pivot is going to be our main resistance zone for price if we do end up going up because this is on the higher time frames like the weekly. So this is up at about 46,500. So that'll be our main resistance zone as we go up. Um, let's go to the daily time frame and talk about what we have going on here because we actually have a very interesting development here. So on the daily time frame, we have had this equilibrium pattern for uh, several weeks now, which has taken a long time to break out, but now it finally has, um, and it broke to the downside actually. So right here, we broke to the downside with two candle closes below this key low. So we had our bear trend right here. Let's zoom in on this so we can see it a little bit easier. So you can see that we had a high, low, lower high, and then lower low here. And then subsequently, we had a very bullish candlestick here off of this candlestick with a long lower wick of people buying the dip. And now this zone right here that should have acted as resistance will potentially be support if we close today's candle above this key high. Um, I'm sorry, above the... Um, the the white candles high which is at third on this exchange 36,587 so we got three hours left until this daily candle closes if this daily candle does close above this red rectangle this red rectangle this entire daily candle here from june 6th becomes a very strong support zone for price and this is where i will look to go long um, if we do end up getting that uh, daily close above that high so we'll see what we end up getting, um, but right now, um, the target for this, if we if we do end up getting that candle close above, um, we could go long on the the body of the candle right here, which is right around thirty five seven eighty six. We could put our stop loss below the the red zone here, which is a pretty tight stop loss, and then subsequently we can take that up to our pivot level here our daily pivot which is right around 42k and the reason for that is because we'll already have tested this gray zone uh, once and then this will be the second test of that so um, that zone is getting weaker with each subsequent test and so uh, the third test of this will probably will probably see uh, the price action go right through that so that will be our next resistance zone would be that pivot after that, on the daily time frame, it's really this gray zone up here. And this gray zone is actually coming from the three-day time frame. So if we look at the three-day, um, this is the resistance zone that we currently have from back here. So you can see this black candle right here where we had a bounce, bounce, and then push right through it. So this should be resistance on a retest. And this goes from about 47K up to about 52, uh, 52,600. Um, on the three-day time frame, we've pretty much just been making uh, lower highs and lower lows, but we haven't really gotten candle closes below the lows to really um, continue the downtrend here in price. If we look at the RSI, um, you can see that you know the RSI has been following it as well with us making um, 
we did have right here we had a bullish divergence because we had a low and then a higher low but if we look on the RSI we made a lower low um, and subsequently that didn't really play out very much we didn't have uh, much bullish price action there but you can see now we're starting to get this increasing bull volume here which is good news for the bulls so the bulls are going to need to show up let's go to the four hour time frame and talk about a trade that i talked about on our telegram channel uh, and if you're not on our telegram channel you can join that for free in the link in the description below. So this is a trade that I talked about yesterday. There was this white candle right here. So this should have been resistance when we came into it here, but you can see we pushed right through it and closed above it. And so as soon as we closed above it, when you retest that zone right here, we retest it, boom, we get this really nice bounce. This is uh, what we consider like a day trade because you're in and you're out relatively quickly. I mean, that was four hours um, and that was about 5%. So um, that was a you know one candle day trade basically. Um, so that was a nice five percent trade there on spot. If you're using leverage, you know that's like ten percent. Um, so it's pretty good. And now subsequently, you see that we're going you know we're we're going down, but you you see that the bulls are trying to buy the dip here, and you can see that with the longer lower wicks of these candles. We obviously have to see where this four hour candle closes, but this four hour candle is the last four hour candle of the day. And the daily candle needs to close above this red zone. So if we're watching this on the four hour time frame, we need to see the red we need to see us close above that red rectangle here on this four hour candle. And you can see the bulls are doing a pretty good job uh, as we speak, pushing it up above thirty six thousand four hundred. Um, but they're going to need to do better than that and actually close the candle above that red zone. If they do, then that'll be, um, like I said, that'll establish that daily level as a significant support level. The only thing that I would say about that that's important to note is this daily um, potential daily bearish divergence. And that's where we're seeing a higher high in the RSI here. And then on the price action, we're seeing a lower high. And so when you see that, that is um, not good for bullish continuation, but we will have this support zone to potentially uh, look for a price to bounce off of. So we'll see what ends up happening. The only thing that worries me about this setup is I usually don't like to go long when there's a makings for a um, bearish divergence in the RSI because it can end up taking the price action through the support zone that I'm looking to go long on. And in this case, our stop loss is going to be pretty tight here with um, one, you know, really 1.65% away roughly from entry if this trade ends up being valid with a daily close above this red zone. So we'll see what we end up getting. Um, but right now, that's something I'm keeping an eye on is that that divergence, we will end up getting it. Um, if we break the low of today's daily candle tomorrow. So that's something that I'm watching um, as well. So that's really all I got for this one, guys. If you like this video, give it a like down below and subscribe for future educational content around cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. And if you haven't already, check out our beginner technical analysis course that we released on Lutheria.com. Um, actually, I just remembered um, our website is having some difficulties right now with the beginner technical analysis course. So maybe hold off on looking into that for today. Um, but hopefully that'll be up back and working again um, tomorrow or the day after. And uh, I'll fill you in on the daily videos. Um, but uh, in the meantime, join the Global Lutheria Community Telegram channel where you can connect with members from around the globe, talk about cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, uh, trading, investing, different projects, news, um, and a ton of other stuff, and really get closer to achieving your goals through a community learning experience. Until tomorrow, onward and upward. <laughs>